Holy shit, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. We just, uh, went through a whole bunch of crap here. Lynx stabbed Viper in the back. He's dead. Then Lynx did something to the Frozen Flame, and it seems like it's it fucked up something with him and Surge, and Surge just stabbed Kid in the chest. What do we do? This is the end of the road for you, Kid. Uh-uh. You're, you're Lynx, ain't ya? <laughs> I'll send you to see Luca. But he doesn't. I'll finish you off later. I'm not sure why he pauses there, but I think they go into it a little later. Look at yourself, Serge. I mean, Lynx. I knew it. It's not him. <laughs> Excellent. The enmity is growing. The only thing pure in this world is enmity. Well then, the time has come for the curtain to fall. Your services are no longer needed. Even your very existence is worthless. Farewell, Serge. Oh no! He's disguised as us. We're disguised as Lynx. Finally I have the key. The key to the gate of fate. The time has finally come for the frozen flame to awaken. Oh dear. Come to the Sea of Eden, Surge, should you wish to end your dream of ten years ago. Oh, man. Oh, this can't be good. Now let love bleed. Darker and deeper than the seas of hell. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. This can't be good in any way. Wow, I told you guys it was going to be something crazy. What happens to us now? Oh man, my head. Whoa, uh, whoa. Was that just a crazy dream? Where the fuck are we? We look like we're in some kind of frickin' Monet painting or something. And we're still the body of Lynx. What's going on here? Wow. First thing you should do is uh, check. Lynx has one HP. It's really Surge, but we're gonna call him Lynx for right now, okay? Um, go ahead and re-equip and allocate his elements because he'll have nothing. Don't worry about the elements that were on your party at the time. They've all been returned to you. Okay? So just so you know that. It won't be too bad. I'm just gonna, for quickness sake, I'm going to uh, just auto-allocate so you guys don't have to see me do the whole damn thing. But, um... Don't worry. Don't be like, oh my god, I just lost all that crap. You didn't. It's okay. You should still have everything here, so we're going to do Moon Glasses, we're going to do Dragoon's Honor, and we will do... Mm, gauntlet. Yeah, it looks good. Don't worry about the 1 HP for right now. Nothing's going to happen to you. Well, there's something in this hole, and there's a save point up there. How are we going to get it? It's a little bit tricky walking around here at first if you're not used to looking at this. It, you know, it's basically looks like a kid's drawing. Come up here and shake this tree. Boop! A fruit falls out and something just ran out to go get it. While they do that, run quickly into the house. Hey you! What are you doing in me house? More accents for me to mess up on. Hmm, I figured you've another wandering spirit. How many years has it been since a physical being wandered into this world? Very strange indeed. Rightly so, the world is controlled by chance and chaos. Anything can happen as quick as a wink, nobody knows. Harry Potter! <laughs> Something you have today may be gone tomorrow. Just like this berry I'm holding. What a red cockney, really. <laughs> Important stuff, irreplaceable stuff. 
All these may come to arm with superlative ease. How does how do they know a word like superlative when they're talking all cockney crap? And what's frightening is there be absolutely no meaning to what happens in our daily lives. Oh yeah, this this whole thing is gonna get beaten up by my voice in a minute. Meaning is non-existent. No matter what's born, lost, or changed, it's beyond calculation. There be no one or nothing watching over you. Such is life. Well, that's very grim. Thanks for the pep talk. Yeah, you go to sleep. I'm going to bed. I suggest you rest up too. Okay there, old fart. We will. So you get to rest. Don't waste uh, healing items for that one HP. You'll be fine in the morning. Well, here we are. A big, scary-looking dude. I guess let's go. Just a second there. I give you a place to sleep and you're leaving without a word of thanks. I'm coming with you. I have a feeling I can get out of here if I tag along. Besides, you won't be able to make it inside that tower alone. I'll open it for you. Oh, and lovely Sprig joined your party. Sprig is an interesting character. Um, the best way I could describe her, and yes, it is a her, is, um, well, we'll just have to show you, I guess. Uh, just think back to a moment. Final Fantasy VI. There's a little boy named Gao who kind of took the abilities of the animals he fought. Sprig is just that way. So I guess you could call it a blue mage. But instead of Sprig just um... Do I have to come up here for something? I always forget this part. I forget this part all the time. Yes. Instead of um, Sprig just mimicking the moves of animals, she'll actually become the animal. So she doesn't really have an element grid to speak of at all. Where do I go? I always forget. In the hole. In the hole! Come up around here. And then I believe up here. Yeah, come around this way. I know this is really ridiculous. I had to think about it for a minute. See this boulder? This is extremely important. Knock it over. And then run back down. Probably should speed this up. We'll see what I can do. Come back down here and knock it over again. Now run all the way downward again. Why are we doing this just for a stupid chest, you ask? Well, because it has something extremely good in it. A revive. There's only three revives in the whole entire game of Chrono Cross. We've already gotten one from the Dragon minigame. This is the second one. That means, if you miss that, you might be up Shit's Creek. You can only get three in the whole game. And the game is long, we're not even close. So, I would get that if I were you. It's just a minute to run. So we go to the top of this tower. What awaits us in here? Hey! You are tres late, non? Come on, Monsieur Lynx, let's go. We don't have the time to be dawdling here. We may truly get lost in time. I can't afford to lose you just yet. What do you mean, yet? I'm not Lynx. You are no longer Serge. You are Monsieur Lynx. Alonso, regarde toi. Just look at yourself. Who in their right mind is going to believe you are Serge? It's is simple. If everybody, except you, except for yourself, says that you are Monsieur Lynx, then... Here we go, guys. This is going to be more crap accent beating. Voila! You are Monsieur Lynx. It's as simple as that. That's who you are. C'est la reality. If you try to go against reality, reality will surely crush you. Reality will kill you. And reality will continue to go on as if nothing ever happened. From yesterday to today, and from today to tomorrow, reality marches on, leaving your crushed body behind. Wow, what a... Great pep talks, everyone. Good job. But I'm Surge. Ooh, la la. So you still insist that you are Surge, oui? 
Whoa, she's like Spider-Man. Oh, we're running out of time. Uh, regarding your memoir as this surge, you may be able to rewrite it if you use the Dragon Tear. Aha, uh -huh, the Dragon Tear, huh? We've heard mention of that before. In reality, you died ten years ago in the other world. How can you say for sure this is the real you? How can we say for sure? And we'll have to find out later. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. See ya.